Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 91 of our save. Uh, we are on our third club playing with West Brom. And as you can see, uh, we came back and won the quarterfinals of the Europa League last episode against AS Monaco, but we did lose uh, two matches to two bottom end teams in the Premier. And then we lost 3-2 to Man United, Chikwuma and Harris with goals. Uh, we gave up three early goals in the first 30 minutes. We beat Crystal Palace 1-0, Morgan Harris with the winner. Uh, they had Luca Allegri sent off in the first minute. Uh, we did play the, uh, the fluid 2.0 tactic from early, early in the season or last season, uh, and we got a win. And then we played it again with a rotated squad. We did lose Theo and Casper Dolberg with goals. Um, we're just playing shit in the league. I, I don't understand how we can play so well in Europa. I guess it's like Liverpool, though. Liverpool, you know, well, they played good this year in the Premier, but, you know, they, they end up winning the uh, Champions League. So, uh, anyway, kudos to Liverpool. I was... Uh, you know, I don't have a horse in that race because I don't root for a, a premier side. So uh, that's easy for me just to go in and enjoy the football. Uh, so today we're playing Roma and then Southampton. Southampton currently eighth in the table. Uh, the losses have us in 10th position. St tied with Palace, but they have made up some ground in the goal differential. Villa's gotten back on top of us, so that is what it is. All right, let's get into the match preview. So Man City against Olympique Lyon, and we are playing Roma. Uh, we are on the road, underdogs. There is a drizzle with some wind, so I I am going to come play this tactic. All right. We'll go with that. Dale Sinclair's coming off yet another injury. We have another Dale Sinclair. So we have our, our starting 11 Dale Sinclair that has been injured. Uh, and then we have a U18 Dale Sinclair that is evidently wanted by some League Two sides for about 29,000. I think he's, I think I've got him listed, but you know. All right, prove a point today. Let's try to faith them up. But you got to have faith, faith, faith. I don't shake hands with anybody. <laughs> so, interested to see some comments, uh, you know, in the you know, I'm recording this while we still have episodes to go up. I usually try to stay one or two episodes ahead just, you know, because I don't know what my time is going to look like. Almo sends it over from the edge of the box um you know because again i don't do this for a job i don't make any money from from uh from youtube um you know this is something i do for fun but you know so that means my job that you know i earn money from and pay bills with uh comes first uh and that's just how it is and i know you guys understand well there's a lump forward chikwuma oh come on um, but, um, uh, so I, that's why I try to stay one or two episodes ahead. Um, oh, he was looking for Chikwuma to make a run. Um, but looking forward to see what your thoughts are on when to call, when to pull the plug on this save. Uh, if we win the Champions League, now that we've gotten to this stage, do we do it there? Dale Sinclair, number six. He has missed such a, a amount of time. He had, what, 29 appearances uh, this year out of 43. So six goals. Really nice finish there. Top bins. Walter into Harris. They're laying off. Harris! Oh, crap. Sorry about that, guys. I keep forgetting if I'm not listening to something. It, that shuts down. I need to see if there's a way to do that, but I guess that's because it's wireless. Oh, he tried to get his second goal. 
that's a that's a big away goal though. Um, you know, so anyway, we had been talking in the last couple of episodes about when to pull the plug and possibly doing, you know, one or two more seasons. You know, the goal originally was to try to get them where they were consistently maybe breaking into that top six or at least getting Europa League. Danny Olmo crossed in. Chikwuma, 24th goal of the season. He didn't place it well, but enough power to put it off the keeper. That's going to be tough for Roma to overcome, I think. Although we do leak goals. Right? <laughs> so we'll have to be careful. Um, but now that we've, we're in, you know, potentially going to the finals of Europa League, does that change things? If we win silverware, does that change things? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so l let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. Um, do I, let's, let's do a little time wasting. Not a lot, just, just a little, just a little. So I'm batching it, uh, today and the, and about half the week, uh, my wife, uh, took my daughter and one of my sons to, uh, Oh, what a placement by Ingram for number 12. Three nil away. Woof. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pull Harris off just because he's on a yellow. Let's put, um, let's put Declan in there. Walter. Let's move Strobel there and then we can bring Sinclair back maybe to the defensive mid and then we can bring Bobby Brady on so we'll just shuffle a little bit just try to get them a little extra rest nice finish we are hanging it on them here all right nice tackle uh, it goes back to their team of course, if that would have been roll reversal, would have been a perfect slide pass to their team for a counter. All right, Strobel building from the back, plays it up to Olmo, into Rice. He finds Chikwuma. Oh, he plays it up to Brady, who chests it down, and he rebounds his own shot, finds the far post. Pretty tough angle, I think, but his fifth goal of the season. Uh, let's go ahead and go more time wasting if we don't mind. Certainly don't want to count our chickens before they hatch, but oh, 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 he's lucky he didn't get sent off for that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, no, no, no. All right. All right. Coleman will come in to replace him. Hopefully he's not hurt badly. Oh, top of the box. Close down on him. Forced him back. Good job. Good job. Lumped ahead. Some good passing. Oh, nice ball out to Broa. Oh, and a little dinky header by Luca Rossi. Caputo. Caputo's actually on the verge of a shutout record for the club. But he's just given up a lot of goals. So I don't know if we want to move him or if we want to move... You know, make some make some adjustments on our defense. All right, that's a nice ball out to Chikwuma. Uh, he's on a yellow. Brady's on a yellow. Can anybody play? 
We could put Taylor in for Olmo, I think. I can't make it. Oh, that's right. We had the injury. Never mind. Chikwuma finds Declan Rice. Plays it over to Ingram. Volleys it into the net. 13th on the season. What a finish. That. That could be a goal of the year candidate, I think. That's Ingram right there. Crossed into Rice. Oh, he just heaved it forward and on the volley near post. That's a shot and a half. That was stellar. So they got the cheap goal. We got one back for that. So we have a five. 5-1 advance. Oh, my God. Omo got hurt. Well, I know I can't make substitutions, so take him off. How do I get him off the field? I certainly don't want him staying out there hurt, right? Um, let's, let's just condense in there. Hopefully they don't concede one. Oh, Declan Rice, his second of the season, finds the far post. Runs it over to the corner in front of the Roma fans. I'm sure they're appreciative of that. That was a nice finish. Six to one. Holy shit. Where is this performance you know, in the Premier League? Oh, a little bit of tackle in there, fellas. Oh, a little bounce off. Sets up a corner. Three minutes of stoppage time. There we go. Six to one. Were you guys expecting that? I, I wasn't expecting that. Excellent efforts. All right, we'll be back. Let's see what they say here. And Man City beat Leon 3-0 in their home leg. Uh, four to five weeks. <sighs> but then he'll be out seven to eight. Well, no, leave to physio. That's the end of his season. That's bad. Three to four weeks? God damn it. All right, we're, we're, we're gutted down here at the end. Ingram with two goals, four shots on target. Oh, those injuries are going to suck. I tell you what. Tell you what. This is what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, I'm devastated by that injury. George Alivial. He is Chilean scout. Okay. God, he's a good scout, too. So he's going to retire. Oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I tell you what. Uh, teaser. Next episode, or, well, this is, this is still the first part of the episode. So when we come back, I'll clue you in during the next game on some news that happened a little uh, right before I started this episode. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Because we won so big, I'm assuming that we're going to get past Roma in the second leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record that match. Mm, yeah. I'm going to come back. We're going to do Roma. We'll skip. We, we may do Arsenal and then the final. That may be the season ender. We're going to skip Southampton. I'll play them off camera. Uh, so when we come back in a minute for Roma, I will tell you guys about the big club news uh, that is happening again. Stay tuned for that. So we play Roma in the second leg today, but I did tell you at the end of the first match a minute ago that we had some big news coming up. So we are we well we were under a transfer embargo uh there's usually only one reason for that right well back on the 27th a consortium targeted us for a takeover 
a few days before, you know, we were just just taken over recently. It might have been this season at the beginning of the year. Uh, could have been last year. I, I, I forget. But we just, you know, we've already had a takeover. Uh, well, our club president... decided he was going to take a more hands-off approach and only be part-time. And immediately we got this email that a uh, consortium by tycoon Jamie Yates was looking to buy the club for $477 million and invest $91 million in the club. <laughs> He's a liar. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, then we scroll ahead to somewhere up in here. Yeah, within a couple of days, within within a day, you know, three days, the Go Sport based uh, investor Jamie Yates completed the takeover, uh, replacing former president Kieran Bradbury, who of course took over from our previous president, uh, and. Uh, he wanted to make a difference for the fans. Personal message thanked us. No further investment. It is the end of the season, so he may be waiting till next year to, to make that move. Uh, we lifted the transfer embargo. Uh, what else? Arsenal won the Premier League. Uh, we also had secured uh, not being relegated, so we're, we're safe. Uh, that was before the, the Roma match. And uh, we lost Eric Garcia, our center back, for six to seven days. So he is gone. Um, Robinson got a new contract. Uh, he, he scored a goal. He started his eighth match. And, you know, Danny Olmo was out, uh, tired. And so immediately, he, you know, we had to that was his his threshold game where we had to pay uh qpr like 1.9 million dollars and his his uh agent immediately came in and said well he needs a more improved contract because he is showing an importance to the first team i was like oh god kill me now but anyway so we have been taken over for a second time in my tenure uh that's interesting Arsenal won the Premier League. They won four four trophies this year. Uh, so, yeah. And they aren't going to win the Europa League, only because they weren't in it. Uh, we are, let's see, so Man City's on the road with a 3-0 advantage, and we're at home with a 6-1 advantage. Uh, we are going to skip Arsenal for the season finale, and then, we're, uh, well... Yes, we're going to skip that because we already know that we're safe. So we're probably not going to beat them. So if we, if, you know, we should have one more episode with the Europa League final. And then we'll go through ending contracts and things of that nature. So, but we'll worry about that down the road. So we are at uh, home advantage. I've been trying the Fluid 2.0. I, I, I don't like it, and I think I'm going to look for a new tactic for next year. Um, but we are going to play that. Cooper on the left. Taylor, Brady. Who else can I play out there? Anybody? Yeah, Danny Olmo is out injured. Six days, so he's done. Hofton is unregistered. Rob, I would love these guys, but I couldn't register everybody. So Cooper, why did I register? It, there had to have been a reason for not registering these guys. Oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go with Cooper out there. Chikwuma and Esteban up top. Let's get to it. Home favorites, six away goals. Um, bum, bum, bum. I expect you to come back as finalist. End of discussion. It's not even up for debate, right? I mean, even we can't blow us. 
even we can't blow a 6-1 lead? God, did I say that out loud? I'll take no highlights. We can do that. Uh, no shots for 20 minutes. Wow. A long shot. Stuart, uh, Luca Rossi. Oh, that's their striker. All right, Sinclair uh, sends it over the top. Rossi's out. Fully injured now. All right, quite an uneventful half. Interesting. Uh, Leon had David Red. David got a red card in the first. David Red in the first minute sent off. Wow. Excellent efforts. And certainly, if we make it to the finals, I'm going to play a heavily rotated squad. To be fully rested for the finals because that'll be my priority at that point even if it cost us from 10th to 11th or 10th to 12th all right there's Sinclair oh he was looking to feed that into the box and there's another one of those hard headers that always go to the other squad I, that that's got to be coded into the game oh DeSantis that was a nice volley shot from the spot right near the spot. Uh, let's uh, concentrate. Overwhelmed. Oh my God, he wants us to concentrate. All right, let's uh, Morgan Harris for Bobby Brady and Joe Cooper for Brendan Taylor, I suppose. Oh, off target. That was lucky. All right, and Niambi for Nicky Maguire. Not one of our guys we'd like to play very much. A promising fullback, but not Premier League quality. Ingram, Chikwuma. Back to Brady. Sinclair, Brady, Ingram. Brady drives it inside just wide of the mark. All right, that's kicked out. It's my wife calling to let me know where she's at or whatever. Uh, uh, show some passion. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, Caputo at least knocks that one wide. I'm really happy we scored six goals in that opening leg, yeah. All right, that one's headed out. Three minutes of stoppage time. We should be okay, but we're, we're not going to beat Man City playing like this. Full time. So we lose 2-0 at home, but we win 6-3 on aggregate. Uh, no, you're... Uh, uh, no, no, no. That was... I'm going to be aggressive and... Yeah, you guys suck today. We lost two nothing. It's it's a good thing it was an aggregate match. Two point eight million dollars. The new board's like woohoo! We're getting some payback already, and we are playing at the Sukru Sarakaglu Sport Complexi Place. I don't know where the hell that's at. Sounds. I'm guessing Eastern Europe somewhere. All right, we're going to end Man City one.
and Coleman reveals Cajun's fury. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to play... Uh, I am going to play Arsenal to end our regular season. Uh, then we will have the Europa League after a couple of weeks. So, well, actually, we could play Arsenal with our starters. And then that's two weeks, 7, 14, 21. Let's check our health real quick. Do we have anybody that might come back? El Amrani might make it back. Olmo could make it back, but they're probably, I think you're going to be closer to three and four weeks. Garcia will be back, so that'll give us one of our center backs back. Franaschini will be back. So we'll have a couple of starting 11 back. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. What a run through Europa League, huh? Didn't expect that when we uh, made Europa League last season. But hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you next episode for the final. See you then. Bye.